What is a biblical view of wealth? I'm persuaded that the Bible teaches a form of Christian capitalism, in other words, responsibility associated with wealth. God's Word does not promote the possession of money for the sake of possessing money, but instead encourages us to use money for the sake of the kingdom. In short, a biblical view of wealth involves having an eternal perspective. First, it's crucial to realize that the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. God is the landlord. We're just tenants. We didn't arrive with anything, and we're not going to take anything with us when we leave. Just remembering this fact will save us from a world of hurt. Furthermore, poverty does not equal piety, nor do riches equal righteousness. God prospers some. He puts others in more humble circumstances. If there were a one-to-one ratio between godliness and wealth, the godliest people in the world would be the wealthiest. But a quick check of the Forbes 500 will quickly dash that kind of an illusion. Finally, it's important to view wealth with eternity in mind. In other words, lead your life here below as a responsible steward whether you have a little or a lot, so that one day at the judgment, God himself will richly reward you. It is your bank statement in heaven that counts. If you fix your hope on the one you have here down below, you're bankrupt no matter how many digits you can count next to your name. No one can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Matthew chapter 6, verse 24.